what was it like when he proposed? Oh, my God. When he proposed, it was just such a mind-blowing experience because that whole day he had been acting kind of weird and kind of aloof and trying to get away from me. And I was actually getting kind of mad at him. But then, like, when he proposed, I remember, like, there were so many people in the room, but it felt like such an intimate moment. And then, like, I was just, like, crying and really ugly. And afterwards, so many people came up to us and was like, congratulations. There was a bunch of couples that came up to us and was like, we met at Comic-Con too, or like, yeah. you know, we got married at Comic-Con. So it was like, such a like, it felt like a huge community experience, but at the same time, very intimate as well. Uh, so you spent a lot of the, the documentary, uh, you know, like you're talking about, trying to essentially get away, trying to get the ring. What was that experience like for you? Um, I think it was like, perhaps like the one moment where I was like, I really wish there weren't cameras around. <laughs> um, uh, but I mean, it was it was it was frustrating, but it was also like incredibly endearing. That it just like you know, she loves me so much, she won't even like let us be apart, even though I really just need just you know 20 minutes to go and pick up the ring, or you know, 10 did you ever, minutes. I, did you ever think I had figured it out and was like making it hard on you on purpose? Uh, no. There was there was a couple moments where I was like, oh, I was, I'm sure she must be figuring it out now. There was, yeah. was going through your bag. Yeah, and, and the ring was in my bag, and I was just like, oh, this is all over. And, yeah, there were a few close calls. Um, so how is how's married life? Married life is good. We're, we're in the middle of moving, so it's very it's very stressful at this moment. <laughs> Trying to find a, a new place to live and stuff. But. Uh, what what are your plans for this year's Comic Con? Um, well, right now, they the tickets are all sold out, and we like you know it was like a last minute like Ticketmaster thing, and we just were shut out. Uh, so it was, yeah. But uh, so so right now we're not sure. We need to. We might have to. Milk, milk the movie somehow. I'm sure when like when people return tickets, they go on sale again. So hopefully we get back in. Yeah. And we're talking about different costumes we could wear this year, but uh, we're always like on the edge of our cosplaying. <laughs> um, and for both of you, what was your biggest fear about appearing in the documentary? Um, well, she, you didn't know what the full intent was. Yeah, so I didn't really care. <laughs> um, were you afraid I would say no? Did you think I was afraid? I didn't think you'd say no, but I was worried. I was definitely worried her rea her reaction. I'd like, be like, why are you doing this here? Did you ever have a doubt about it being Kevin Smith? Because it's like, it's kind of crass and not very Um Well, I... I asked a lot of her friends, like, sort of what would be the best kind of venue to do this, you know, and they kind of were able to, like, have, ask some subtle questions of what she was most looking forward to at Comic-Con, and so, you know, it became pretty clear that Kevin Smith would be the, the best venue, so. Uh, I can't say no if there was 8,000 people. No, exactly. <laughs> Um, well, James and Cyan Darling, great to meet you. Thank you so much. Thank you.